What's happening guys? Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be taking you through a leg workout that I did earlier. Excellent workout, really hard, but a lot of fun too. So let's get into the video. First thing that I always do is have a good warm up. Always do a dynamic warm up with stretching. I'll put a link up here or in the description box below for that. After I've done that, then I'll move on to my first exercise. Today was leg extensions. So I normally do two or three warm up sets. I don't count those just to warm the body up, warm the legs up, get some blood into the knees, the muscles. And then it's three working sets. So today was three sets of 15 reps. Now with this one, I'm not simply going up and down, I'm thinking about what I'm trying to do. Now with leg extensions, I'm taking the weight up, when it gets to here, I'm really squeezing that quad muscle. That's something that you won't be able to pick up when you're watching the video, but just bear that in mind. So whenever I'm coming up, I'm really squeezing that quad muscle for a split second. So up, squeeze, down, up, squeeze, down. That really gets the blood into that muscle, gets it pumped up. Moving on, second exercise was leg press. Again, one warm up set on this one, and then three working sets. Here, the rep range is a little higher, so we done three sets of 20 reps. Really wanted to get the legs pumped up, so higher reps on this one. Weight was still heavy, but not as heavy as I can go. Okay, guys, so if you got these things here, stoppers, they might just save you. So always use them if you can. Yeah, because if you pressing the weight up and you get stuck at the bottom the weight's too heavy for you then you're gonna have big problems so if you got those stoppers use them now leg press is a funny one it always baffles me when I see videos of guys loading the leg press up with tons of plates and then moving about that much I mean what are you trying to achieve with that so range of motion go all the way back as far back as you can go Normally that's going to be in sort of this position where your leg starts hitting your upper body and then press up. Now leg press, no one should lock out, okay? So no one should lock out on that one. I've seen some horrible videos of people locking out and really, oh, really damaging their legs. So all the way down, all the way up, just before lock out, back down again. Third exercise is the Smith Machine Squats. Great exercise, really good alternative to the back squats. Uh, with this one, you're going to feel it more in the quads than a traditional back squat. Back squat, the way you're holding the bar at the back and you're coming down, you are going to lean forward slightly. 
Um, so that does involve the, the glutes, hamstrings and the lower back. But with, with Smith Machine squats, you can go straight down, straight back up. So it kind of takes away the lower back. It's a great one. If you can't do squats or when you're doing squats, your lower back hurts. So a really good alternative. Here we did three sets. 12, 10, 8 reps and I gradually increase the weight up and as you can see I'm going all the way down here you can get really deep with this one all the way down back up again all the way down full range of motion I've done three exercises for the quads, time to move on to the hamstrings. So we're doing lying leg curls here, three sets again, 10 to 12 reps. Now what, with this one, what I'm doing, if you just imagine that my arms are my legs for a minute, I'm taking it down. When I come up, I'm really squeezing the hamstrings at the top there, and I'm lowering it down really slowly. When it gets to about here, I'm holding it for a split second, just so I can get a really good pump a lot of blood into the hamstring and I'm lowering it again. So back up again, I'm bringing it back up. I'm just not simply bringing it up. I'm thinking about what I'm doing. I'm really squeezing the hamstrings at the top. Lower it halfway, hold it there for a split second and then lower it all the way down. So three sets, 10 to 12 reps on this one. exercise is the cable goblet squats I'm using the Wii bar attachment for this one and here I'm trying to focus on my glutes so we're doing three sets on this one again so pretty much all my exercises I do three sets here we're gonna do fast reps fast explosive reps so I like to mix up my training I like to mix up my high reps low reps slow controlled reps pause squeeze and I'll also throw in some fast reps as well just to activate different types of muscle fibers. So goblet squats here, three sets, 20 reps, we're doing fast reps. And when I'm pushing up from the floor, I'm really trying to push up from my heels so I can activate my glutes. When I get to the top, I'm trying to squeeze the glutes a little, back down again, push up again. But most important thing here is trying to push up from the heels. Final exercise for today's next session was RDLs, Romanian deadlifts. Done three sets here, three sets of 12. Now this one, I like to keep my form strict. I don't want to go too heavy. Heavy, yes, so I can control the weight. Um, because I do feel that it's quite a dangerous exercise if it's done incorrectly. So here we're going slowly down. I'm really slowing down the reps. So I'm going slowly down, all the way until my hamstrings are fully stretched out, and then push back up. Hips back when you're going down, and then when you're pushing up, push the hips forward, go all the way up, and back down again. And this is one that I never used to feel before uh, until I really focused. And I think I wasn't going down deep enough, and I wasn't really focusing on what I was doing. And now it's in pretty much all of my leg sessions. So a great exercise, sometimes with dumbbells, sometimes with barbells.
that is the leg session done. As you can see, I'm mixing up the rep range. We've got some heavy sets with low reps, 8 to 12. We've got some lighter weight. It's still heavy. It's not lightweight. It's still heavy weight, but it's lighter. Uh, for 20 reps, we've got some controlled reps. We've got some fast explosive reps. So we've got a good mix there. Final point, often get asked about rest periods between sets. Uh, with legs, you have to rest longer. So rest period for legs could be between one to three minutes. If I'm doing something like leg extensions, it might just be a minute to recover. But some heavy squats or some heavy leg presses, I probably need two or three minutes to recover. And I just listen to my body. Listen to my breathing. My breathing's hard and heavy, then I need to rest. So once my breathing gets back to normal, I can feel my heart rate going down again, then it's time for the next set. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.